When we first moved to Seattle, we lived right on the outskirts of the zoo, so I'd run by every morning and always intrigued by wild animals. And as much as I love big wilderness areas and, and wild places, zoos have always been a wonderful part of our family's life just because it's such an incredible place to come see those animals. The zoo is a place where everybody can come to. It's parents and, and their children, it's grandparents and their grandkids. It's a wonderful resource that people feel safe to come to and to learn more about the natural world. I've always been passionate about wildlife and about animals and, and I feel I've been privileged because I've had an opportunity to have a career where I've been able to follow my passion and work on endangered species. My passion has always been wildlife and education so I'm probably one of the few people here at the zoo who have worked as both a keeper and in another department in education. When I was a keeper I was taking care of animals and trying to enrich their lives but I was also doing education and that was a big part of what I do. The Living Northwest program is a conservation-based program with the intent of preserving threatened endangered species and their habitats. It seeks to engage community involvement and evaluate the resources that are available in the Pacific Northwest and network those resources to really develop a synergy for protecting wildlife and engaging conservation issues. The zoo has been an incredibly important partner for all the recovery work that we did. We've worked with the zoos on Oregon spotted frogs. They've been very involved in wolf recovery and conservation. Coexisting with carnivores is a partnership between Woodland Park Zoo and Issaquah Middle School where the kids learn about the carnivores that are in their community. My favorite thing about science is that you can ask anything and when you find something out, it leads to another question. And coexisting with carnivores drives the love of science for the students. The Woodland Park Zoo and this cooperative relationship has really filled a need in providing not just some funding for the different projects that we work on, but the expertise and some of the field needs that we have. Studying wildlife has changed quite a bit. Now we've got a number of tools, including remote cameras and techniques for snaring hair and getting DNA that are called non-invasive methods. So they allow us to study animals in their natural habitats without capturing the animals or even really seeing the animals. As people get older, especially these kids, what sometimes gets lost is they don't continue to make those connections with wild places. What I would really like to see people doing is continuing to get out there and make those connections so that it really does become a larger, more holistic thing. What I've come to appreciate is, is the fact that we really have a deep philosophical appreciation for wildlife, wildlife habitats, and the need to protect those into the future. I think there's no better use of resources than to put it toward trying to recover species in our own northwest landscape. And we know from past experience that when we have the resources to apply, we can save these species. I think one of the things that we should never lose, either as children or adults, is that sense of wonder and the magic that is in the natural world. How can we turn to each other and to community for a rich quality of life rather than to things? Building community, building our enjoyment of parks and open space is a wonderful part of choices that we have here in Seattle and in the Northwest. It's an incredible asset for the community and an incredible place to uh, really fire our imaginations, learn, and then shape how we behave during the course of our lives.